on the previous slide the support of the hypergeometric distribution began at zero and ended at lowercase n the sample size. Some authors like to consider this alternative support which runs from the maximum of zero and m plus n minus capital N up to the minimum of nm. This is a lot more clunky and and difficult to write but it is worth thinking about why they suggest this alternative support. So let's start by looking at the upper bound which is the minimum of n and m. Here's the thinking. You can't get more successes out of your draws from that urn than n when you take a sample of size n. Second of all, you can't get more successes than the number of successes m that are in the urn or in the population. So that's why you can write the upper end of the support this way rather than just using lowercase n on the previous slide. The second thing to think about is the lower bound and that is the maximum of 0 and m plus n minus capital N. And here is the thinking. You can't get fewer successes than 0 in the sample. So that's where 0 fits in. But also you are guaranteed to get at least m plus n minus capital N successes if the population size is small enough and in addition if the sample size is big enough. If that's the case, then you're guaranteed a certain number of successes, and that is factored in right here. So instead of just having a zero here, you can sometimes find the hypergeometric support starting at this. Now, the original support is simpler and a lot cleaner to write, and the reason for that is if you ever run into a binomial coefficient n choose x, where x is either greater than n, or x is less than 0, that is defined to be 0, and it turns out that that wipes out the appropriate terms, and you wind up effectively with this support anyways. So it will typically be written in the uh, simpler fashion just because we know that this is true, and the two different supports will be equivalent.